now and go to Washington and growing fallout from President Trump's firing of Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The president's temporary pick to replace him, Matthew Whitaker, is now facing a possible legal challenge and calls to remove himself from the Russia investigation as the president considers permanent nominees for Attorney General. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, tracking all the new developments. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to you. Before he was at the Justice Department, Whitaker was a conservative commentator, which means there is a long public record of all of his comments on all things Donald Trump. And now those interviews on radio and television are coming to light and fueling these calls for his recusal. This morning, President Trump is defending his acting attorney general. Matt Whitaker is a very highly respected man. And then he added. I don't know Matt Whitaker. Matt Whitaker worked for Jeff Sessions. I think everybody looking at a permanent position in any department has done many shows. Does that mean we can't hire anybody? The president appointed Matthew Whitaker after Jeff Sessions was ousted in the hours after Election Day. And now Whitaker is under fire for previously criticizing the very investigation he now oversees. The truth is there was no collusion with the Russians in the Trump campaign. Last year in a series of radio interviews, Whitaker bashed Robert Mueller's Russia probe. There is not a single piece of evidence that demonstrates that the Trump campaign had any illegal or even improper relationships with Russians. But I mean, it's, it's, it's that simple. On the question of obstruction by President Trump. If all he did was make a mere suggestion and not an outright command, I don't think that rises to the level couldn't, of Couldn't have been though. the same. He also called Mueller's appointment ridiculous and said it smells a little fishy. I just hope it doesn't turn into a fishing expedition because I will be one of the ones jumping up and down. Good for uh, you, yeah. Making sure that limitations on this investigation continue because that's the way it's supposed to be. And he forcefully defended President Trump. It is not helping this administration and really not helping the federal government generally to have the president and his associates under the cloud of a federal investigation. I mean, it is it is very hard. Unlike Sessions, sources tell ABC News Whitaker will not recuse himself from overseeing the Russia probe, something that has Democrats outraged. I think he has a clear conflict of interest in terms of overseeing any part of the Mueller investigation. But inside the White House, sources tell ABC Whitaker is on the short list to permanently lead the Justice Department. That list also includes at least a half dozen other political supporters, like the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, former New Jersey governor and current ABC News contributor, Chris Christie, Senator Lindsey Graham, and Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi. And now it's not just Democrats that are sounding the alarm about Whitaker, a prominent conservative lawyer who also happens to be the husband of Kellyanne Conway, wrote an op-ed along with the former Solicitor General under President Obama. They say this appointment is unconstitutional and anything Whitaker does in this temporary position should be invalid. George, they want to see him undergo a Senate confirmation to hearing because they say there's been no scrutiny of his record. And that could lead to a legal challenge. Meantime, on the, pick for, on the search for a replacement, how quickly does the president hope to act here? Well, we're hearing it's, it, there's no real rush to get this done. He may want to wait until Mueller's investigation is finished. Okay, Cecilia Vega, thanks very much. It's been quite a week. You're going to have a lot to talk about yes, on this week. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.